Hello, my friends. Peace. Shalom, salam, aloha, namaste, blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today, it's a little gloomy outside, and I couldn't quite get the lights bright enough in my house. So I thought I'd bring a friend along with me who has a nice bright color. This is Wawi, my daughter's walrus. So I've asked Wawi to sit with me today, just to brighten up the room a bit. I think he likes being here. So today we are talking about healing and asking for help. The funny thing about being sick or injured is that you might feel terrible, but no one else can see it. To you it's obvious, but it's not obvious to everyone else. You might pull a muscle and it might really hurt but it's not like a cut or a bruise or a rash that's right there on your skin for everyone to see. No one will know you are in pain unless you say something. So to get the healing you need, you need to ask for help. For many of us, this isn't a problem. Crying out, help me, I just stubbed my toe, or I've got a cavity in my tusk is no big deal. But sometimes we might be embarrassed about our pain or our sickness. Maybe we don't want to make a fuss, or we don't want to admit we made a mistake or had an accident, or we are worried people might think we are weak or foolish. But if we are truly sick or truly hurt, we need to get help and heal. The same is true with our feelings. Sometimes we can be ashamed to admit we feel sad or mad. Maybe we are confused by something new, but don't want to admit that we don't understand it. Or worse, maybe people have told us not to cry, or not be angry, or to not be silly. So we bottle up how we feel. Well, those bottle up feelings will just get bigger and feel worse. It's possible for any of us to dwell in our bad feelings sometimes, even to lose hope. So asking for help is always best. Others may have the medicine we need, or great advice to follow, or even just a kind ear we can tell our sad stories to. Sometimes just admitting we need help starts to make us feel better. Whenever Jesus healed someone, he said that it was their faith, their belief, their love and compassion that healed them. Or, depending on the story, maybe it was the faith of a parent or a friend that healed them. He almost never took the credit. It was always someone declaring for themselves or declaring for a loved one that they were worthy of healing and asking for the help that they needed. So, whether it's healing your body or healing your heart, maybe it's important to declare to God and to people you trust, I want to heal. I want to get better. All right, my children. So I hope you know that you are worthy of healing whenever your heart or your body is hurt. Right, Wally? I think Wally agrees. All right. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.